Hi everyone, this is a quick video to show off uh, a new update we have in Nintex new responsive forms for Office 365, which hasn't actually made it to Nintex Workflow Cloud forms yet. So I'm going to start with Nintex Workflow Cloud to show you uh, what the old options are, and we'll go ahead and look at Office 365 to show the, the new option. And what we're talking about is basically um, commas in choices. So if we come to uh, Nintex Workflow Cloud, you'll see option one, option two, option three are separated by commas. And the same thing applies for multi-choice, option one, option two, option three. So that's all well and good, but what if I wanted to paste in something with um, commas in my options? So Sydney, New South Wales, Melbourne, Victoria, so on and so forth. When I come out, it's actually assuming the comma is the separator. So Sydney, comma, New South Wales, Melbourne is my next option. So it's not great, especially if you wanted to do last name, comma, first name, or something like that. So if we come across to Office 365 and we just clean that up and we'll come to choice single and choice multiple, we'll paste the same things in and you'll notice now it says new line separated versus comma separated. So there's um, a slight difference. And you'll probably notice the style. We've got a new style in Intex Workflow Cloud, which hasn't made it to Office 365, but it doesn't really affect your um, your end users filling experience. So just keep that in mind as well. So it says new um, new separated lines. We paste in our options from the previous example, click out. Now we actually have commas in our options. Now, I think this is worth sharing because quite a few people have written to me um, asking for commas in their options. So hopefully now that you can uh, come back to your single choice or multi-choice and put your commas in, that you'll be uh, quite happy with that, um, with that option and, and uh, you have more success. Certainly let me know what you think in the comments. Cheers.